Welcome to the English Science Lessons on the Windy Wind Channel. Today we are going to learn about the animal adaptation. Dear all fifth graders, we are on Unit 4, Adaptation for Survival. A place where an organism lives is its habitat. Tempat di mana makhluk hidup itu tinggal adalah disebut dengan habitat. An organism needs certain features to survive in its habitat. Setiap makhluk hidup membutuhkan ciri-ciri tertentu untuk bisa bertahan di habitatnya. What features do these organisms have that help them to survive? Water mammals such as whales and dolphins breathe through a blowhole on top of their heads. Blowhole artinya adalah lubang sembur. And the fur of arctic fox can change in different seasons. A habitat provides living things with everything they need. For example, it provides a place to live. Food, water, and a safe place to reproduce. Animals are able to survive in their habitat. They get food and water. They move around, breathe, or reproduce, and also protect themselves from enemies. The features an organism has that help it survive are called adaptations. Organisms that are not well adapted will either move out of the habitat or die. Organisms that are well adapted are able to get food, water, and light, protect themselves from enemies, survive in wet or dry places, or survive in hot or cold places. Organisms have two kinds of adaptation. There are two types of adaptation. First, structural adaptation. Structural adaptation are parts of the organism that help it to survive. In bahasa, structural adaptation adalah adaptasi dalam bentuk tubuh atau morfologi. And the second is behavioral adaptation atau adalah adaptasi tingkah laku. Are the ways an organism behave to survive? yaitu cara organisme berperilaku untuk bertahan hidup. Aquatic animal is organisms that live in water. Organisms that live in water have different adaptation for breathing and moving from land animals. Fish use gills to breathe underwater. Duck and penguins have webbed feet to help them move in water and on land. This is adaptation for moving in the water. Webbed feet atau kaki berselaput. But seals and sea turtles use flippers to move. Adaptation for flying. All flying animals have wings, streamlined body shape, feathers and hollow bones. Feathers and hollow bones reduce the bird's weight to make flying easier. But some birds do not fly like chickens, penguins, and ostriches. They have small wings or bodies are heavy. Adaptation for predators Organisms that catch and eat other animals are predators. Here are some of the many adaptations for predators have to allow them catch food successfully. First, predators is have good senses. Eagles have very good eyesight. And snakes have a good sense of smell. And also bats have very good hearing. Cheetah use speed to catch their prey. To run fast, they have strong legs. Some animals work in groups to hunt food. Examples are lion and hyena. A group can catch prey that is larger, stronger, or faster than they are. They hunting in groups. 
animals must also be adapted to prevent predators from eating them. Here are a few examples of adaptation from predators. The color of the owl makes it difficult to see among trees. Some animals have colors of shape that make them difficult to see. This is called camouflage. The fur of the Arctic fox is brown in the summer and white in the winter. The fur of some animals changes color in different seasons. For example, the fur of the Arctic fox is brown in summer but white in the winter. Rubah Arctic ini mengubah warna bulunya sesuai dengan musim yang dialaminya. Dia mengubah warnanya menjadi putih pada saat musim salju sebagai kamuflase untuk dia berburu. Sedangkan berubah menjadi coklat atau biru kelabu-abuan yang memungkinkan dia untuk bersembunyi di batuan atau tanaman tundra. For example, tortoise has a hard shell, and a hedgehog has sharp spikes, a deer with their horns. The camel is well adapted for life in the desert. It can go without water for several weeks. It because camel able to drink a lot of water at one time. It stores the water in its blood. The camel's hump stores fat and not water. The fat provides energy. And the last one, it sweats very little. This reduces the amount of water loss. Surviving in cold places. The picture shows examples of animals that live in the very cold places. The seals and the whales have a layer of fat under the skin which keeps them warm, and the penguin has feathers that keep it warm and dry. In the winter, it can be very cold and there is less food. To survive in the winter, some animals such as bears and polar bears hide and rest. This is called hibernation. Okay, it's time to stretch yourself. Answer the questions. Camel's habitat is? Yes, desert. To use less food and energy, polar bears do? Yes, of course, hibernation. And the penguin to swim and walk on land, penguin have? Yes, you are right. Why but feed? Okay, student. Now let's see our new words to adapt. Artinya beradaptasi, kamuflas, kamuflase, hollow bone, tulang berongga, why but feed, kaki berselaput, spike duri, protect melindungi, prey mangsa, enemy musuh, ham punuk. Okay, thank you for your attention. See you next!